Previously on Hillaby Creek. Marry me, Rebecca! No. Why? I... I don't love you. Whoopsies! Rebecca! Oh, shoot. That's the wrong clip. Hold on. I got it here somewhere. Wait. Okay. Here. I think I found it. Try this one. Yep. There we go. Oh, that's the lights. That's the wrong button. That's the wrong button. There's the right buttons. Button, button. Who's got the button? Okay, let's go put this away and we're going to start bailing. Oh, there's so much stuff in the way. All right, let's park this out of the way. And then we're going to start bailing. Do, do, do. So, we're going to make the smaller bales. I'm not sure how big of a bale our new little bobcat there can handle. So we're going to go 125 centimeter bales. And we're not going to do automatic drop. Because where are we going to drop? Let me start clearing right in the corner here. We'll drop everything in this corner just because we're going to have to use that little bobcat to pick the bales up onto the bale wrapper and then move them from the bale wrapper onto the bale trailer. We're going to need a clear spot to work. Let's start by clearing off this corner. Then we can bring everything over here. We're going to have so many bales. We ran off the corner. See if we can do this without hitting a tree. Oh, it doesn't look like it. All right, let's go around. Nope, still hit the tree. Dang it. Alright, going around. Taking a long way home. There we go. Boy, the dappled sunlight. It's hard to see what's what. Okay, we are almost there. Our first bell. I just want to make sure this corner is nice and clear because if we drop everything here, we're not going to be able to maneuver over here very well. Okay. 99 and 100%. Alright. Well, what we'll do is we'll start bringing them over. Drop them here right in the corner. All right, why to unload the baler? Then let's let's just verify that our process is going to work. Am I going to close you too? Apparently, I do. Okay, turn that off. Let's pull you. Oh, I don't know. Go right around the side with this. I got the bale wrapper kind of right in my way, but that's okay. We'll just cut this corner. Oh, there goes the corner of my bed. There goes the tines on my wind rower. I'll just push the trailer out of the way. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We can park this. Actually, you know what? Well, we got this here. We can get this put away. And then we can park that trailer basically where this tractor is sitting right now. Get this put away. Oh, in your hole. 
we go. Loop. That's gone. We can hook this. Do the wrapper. And this will be basically stationary. Then, so we're wrapping everything one spot. Which will be this spot here. Boop. I think that's ready to wrap. Do, do, do. I guess we could turn on automatic drop on this. Do we have to turn the wrapper on? We do not. Okay. We'll leave that there running. Now let's go get our little skid steer. This is going to be a heck of a process. Processing bales this way. I tell you what. I tell you what. So the idea is pick up this bale. Guess we don't even need to be spread that far apart. All right, ram the bale. Good. If we can do it without tipping over, pick this up. Bet it. Right on there. Then it'll wrap it. And then it should drop it automatically right behind it. We'll just wait for that to be done. Do, 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 do. You know, I hope you've had a good day today. While we're sitting here, got a moment to ourselves. All right, here's our bale. I'll just dab it. And, oh, we never backed up the trailer. So we'll put the trailer basically right in front of where we're at now. So you. We can cut it in a little tighter there. Just drive through the grass. It's all right. It's our grass. We can drive through it if we want to. There we go. Get her. Just don't want to go past that tree because then we won't be able to get to that end. Something like right there. Turn it off. Then we can just pick this up and bring it over here. Oh. up a little bit and get this right in the front. Banging into everything. How many of these can we fit too wide? we we'll probably go too wide with this, right? I don't know if I'm going to be able to get out of this with that tractor right there. Oh, just enough room. Look at us go! All right, so that's the general process. Turn that off till we need it. So the next step is going to be make all the bales, bring them over here, and set them in the corner. So let's get doing that. Before we get into it, let's just see if... Our uh, skid steer there will be able to handle a larger bale. Because if we can make larger bales, then we'll have fewer bales. And that'll make life easier. Boy, those helpers really, really go an interesting way. Might just need to smooth out this edge or something. They don't try to go way out there anymore. I think I got all that grass. Yeah, if we can do a bigger bale, it'll it'll certainly help us. 
That's picking up much more grass to fill up. All right, let's go drop this off. Go we'll drop this off and make sure all our equipment can handle a larger bale. I really, I don't wonder if I, okay. If I turn it off, it stops beeping. Good to know. That way we don't gotta listen to it beep the whole time that we got a bale in. And I empty it with the baler off. That's our other question. I can. Nice. Good to know. See, we're learning so much stuff today. The bale falls out so slowly. Alright, turn that off. Get off of that. Alright, skid steer. Show us what you got. This is the 150 centimeter bale. Is that thing will only do the 125 and 150 centimeters? Oh yeah, it seems all right. Oh, a little goofy with the steering, but we'll be all right. Get it on there. And the loop. Now we gotta go turn that tractor on. Oh, uh -huh -huh. good to know. But what it's saying is it won't, I thought it would. Apparently it won't. Let's just double check that in here. Nope, it'll only do 125 centimeter bale. See, I'm glad we only made one. All right, well, we can put this one right in the back of the truck then. We have to make 125 centimeter bales. See, that's why it's good to learn your equipment. Know what it's capable of. I like this little guy. This thing works awesome. Oh, I think I can get it up just, just high enough to get it in this rock. Don't bang into it. There we go. Back out. Bloop. There we go. Perfect. Look at that. Almost like we planned it. All right. So 125 centimeter bales it is. Leave this here. And go over there. Adjust this back. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and... Get this all bailed up, and then I'll get back with you. Can you hear my heartbeat calling? Can you feel the love we're falling? Just take my hand and take me home tonight. Throwing caution to the wind. I'll take a chance and let you
Okay, that's our last bell. Cut a little bit of that other field because we're going to need to cut that for hay anyway. I needed just a little bit more grass to top off this last bale. What do we get? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 silage bales. And then the one big grass bale. Not bad. It'd be interesting to see how much we end up getting for these. Let me do a little rearranging here. We're going to put our grasser over with the uh, cultivator and use that bay for our new baler. Moving stuff around. We need to expand the yard again. We're not going to do that right now though might not do that at all because if the silage pays out what I think it should it should be substantial we'll get rid of that um, we'll get rid of the tatter we won't need it at that point all right that's that for this we can park this for now actually this is gonna be in the way Let's just park it where it goes. You can live right there for now. All right. So what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to see if I just keep feeding bales into this thing, if it'll push the last bale out of the way, and we can just feed bales and wrap them all at once and then just load them up instead of having to go back and forth one and one boop boop let's see if we can do this without knocking ourselves over oh a lot of weight for this little guy boop Kind of put these a little too close to where I'm trying to work. That's okay. We'll make it work. Do, do, do. Oh. Auto drop not on. We had it on the okay. And there we go. All right, let's see. Now I know it'll wrap it. What I'm hoping is that it, that last bale that came out, it'll push it out of the way. Which, if not, that's okay because apparently we got a minute to wait while it wraps anyway. I just want to see what it does. Are you not wrapping? Oh, will it not even wrap it with one sitting in its unload position? Or if that's what's going on here. No. What are you doing? Oh, there it goes. Okay. It's going to be finicky and weird. That's fine. We all get a little finicky and weird from time to time. Can't blame them. Loop. Come on, up you go. Get it as close to the front as we can. Go just till we touch. Like there. Better down. Strap men. A chow. All right. We're gonna try that again. Now that I don't have to jump on it to turn off or turn on the auto drop. See if I just can feed it. Just feed the beast. Oh, 
boop. Nope, I don't think it likes it. I'm gonna have to jump on every time to get it to go. So, I mean, I guess it's fine. Just an extra step. Who doesn't love doing an extra step? Me, that's who. I'm glad I figured out a way for us to move these bales without buying a whole new tractor that can get a front loader. I realize neither of the tractors that we have we can attach a front loader to. And I got a back loader thing which attaches to the three point which are our uh, slightly bigger our newer tractor can utilize but it couldn't pick up even bales this size with it even with the weights on the front because I did some testing see what would work and uh yeah it was just lifting the nose right up in the air even with these little guys I was kind of surprised at alright jump on we're gonna try that see if we can just jump back and forth see what happens once this bale gets done I hope it doesn't push our whole tractor forward out of the way I mean it can only go so far there's a tree in front of it just going to clog up and get stuck. Alright. Let's not do that. Jerky controls. Here we go. Move. Unhook from that tractor. Oh, that hitbox on that thing is huge. We have to reposition the tractor. Just banging into everything. Oh, no, you don't. I wonder if these would be better off like this. What do we got? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. That's two, say four, six. We're going to have to have two layers. Go ahead and this back that way. I think we'll be alright with them on the sides like that. I can unhook from it now. Oh, come on. Uh-oh, I don't know if I'll be able to... I can do this, we will. Yeah, there we go. not what you're supposed to do. There we go. Get in there. No. There we go. If we can scooch it over a little bit. Push. Doesn't want to push that edge. Alright, that's fine. I didn't want you to go in a good spot anyway. Alright, I guess I will continue wrapping. And then... Once, uh... All these are wrapped and stacked... We can... Come on. This will not do any lateral movement, will you? Maybe I should stack from the bottom since that's where... Since it's leading that way a little bit. Our truck's so tall. Alright, I'll get these wrapped and stacked. And then... Um... Might do the hay off camera. Because we're going to have to wait... A month or two for these to ferment. 
Oh, that wasn't the right button. There we go. Up and over. Get on there. Hey, look, it's wrapping. Yeah, because they're what? We had zero, zero, zero. Oh, two percent. So it might not take two super long. Maybe one month to ferment from grass in a silage. But we'll see what happens. Alright, I'll see you when I'm done with this. The last bail. Spent just over twenty thousand dollars on equipment to get here. I'm very, very interested to see how much money we end up making off of this silage. I was very scared for a second we weren't going to be able to double stack this. Not that it would matter much. We'd just have to find a spot off to the side to set it until it ferments. Sell the first stack and then. And then uh, come back and get the rest of it. But I'm glad we double stacked it. Let me go get this put away. Right here. Over oh, right here. Let's put this away. Uh, where are we going to store this thing? Maybe right there in front of them seeds. That looks like a good spot. Perfect. Tractor away for now. Just to set it somewhere out of the way. And we have a uh, we have a little shed over in the yard that our lawnmower is supposed to be in. Our actual lawn lawnmower. I think I think this will just fit in there. Let's go see if it'll fit. nicely. be nice if we get a little lawnmower attachment for the front of this. I don't think we can. That would be cool. We got a little mower deck that we could stick to the front of this and use that to mow. 
just around the house. Because our mower now is a little too big for around the house, so we may have to buy a lawnmower at some point. Grass is getting real long. Neighbors are going to start complaining. But let's see, what did we end up with? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. 16 at 3,500 liters. That's 56,000 liters of silage. I think that'll be pretty good. And then we got another 5,500 liters of grass. Let's uh, park this trailer somewhere and go sell this grass bale real quick. Uh, find a spot up here. Park it right next to the next to our little driveway. I won't be in the way. There's a spot right here. Pull it off in the weeds right there and let it ferment. That way it's not in the way, but it's easy access. Or when we want to get it and sell it. Ooh, let's strap down bale so it stops wiggling all over. Let's sell this bale. Ooh, it's bridge. A beautiful day for being December. If I get going really fast and slam on the brakes, maybe the bale will come right through the back of the cab. Nope, we got it strapped down. She ain't going nowhere. Can we just pull over top of this? There it goes. $846. Well, that'll help. And then I guess the next thing to do is make hay off that little field and sell that. So we got money to get us through until the silage is ready to sell. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then I'll bring you back. I don't think I'm going to time lapse it. I think I'm going to time jump it. Just because otherwise it's going to be super long. It's already getting to be a long day. So I'll go ahead and mow, head, windrow, and then use the forage wagon to make hay out of this other field here. Get all that sold. Then we can move on in time until that silage. I'm thinking next month. Next month. If not next month, definitely the month after. That silage will be ready to sell. It'll be ready to sell before we need to harvest grass again. That'll let us know if we uh, need to keep the little field as hay or if we can sell the tether and the forage wagon and just make silage. But I think, it's, I think we're going to end up getting a decent return. So let me get this done, and then I'll catch back up to you when it's time to sell the silage. <laughs>